Slaves, obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them sincerely as you would serve Christ. Work hard, but not just to please your master when they are watching. As slaves of Christ, do the will of God with all your heart. Work with enthusiasm as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will reward each of us for the good we do, whether we are slaves or free. And in the same way, you masters must treat your slaves right. Don't threaten them. Remember, you both have the same master in heaven, and he has no favorites. The whole armor of God, a final word, be strong with the Lord's mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will not so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies and tricks of the devil. For we are not fighting against people made of flesh and blood, but against the evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against those mighty powers of the darkness who rule this uh, rule this world and against wicked spirits in the heavenly realms. One more time for y'all. We don't battle flesh and blood. Not, not, not this. Not flesh and blood. Not what we are, humans. But this is what we, this is what we battle. We are, not fight, we are not fighting against people made of flesh and blood, but against the evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. Meaning you cannot see these evil beings, okay? The most evil person you see ain't got nothing on this evil one. The, the real enemy of God, of us. He's unseen. They're unseen. Against those mighty powers of, dark, of darkness who rule this world. And they rule this world. How about that? They rule this world, meaning Satan rules this world, because they, if they rule this world, Satan rules this world. You understand? And against wicked spirits in the heavenly realms. This is who we fight against. This is what we fight against. But he's going to tell you how to fight against them. You can't use human, you're not f fighting against flesh and blood, so you can't use flesh and blood weapons. You have to use spiritual weapons. This is real. Y'all look in my eyes, this is real. This is the realest stuff y'all need to hear. Y'all don't want to get taken over. Y'all don't want to be possessed by demons who are real. Satan is real, and his demons are real. This is what the Bible is telling you. This is what God, Jesus, is telling you. Anyway. Use every piece of God's armor to resist the enemy in the time of evil, so that after the battle you will stand, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the sturdy belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ, you guys, so that you will be fully prepared. In every battle, you will need faith as your shield. So we have battles that we have against that we have against these principalities in our life. You understand? And in this and every one of these battles, there are going to be many. Every one of these battles, you better have faith in our Lord Jesus. Just like I just had to have faith when I heard that thing knock over, I could have instantly I could have got fear in my heart. I could have said, "No, I'm not going to write the rest." I I just thought I had just started writing my rhyme. I just had just started writing like the first line. As soon as I start writing the first line, the pen start trying to go out, and that and that something knocks something over, and so I'm and this is in the back. Something I just came in the house. Why would it just come? Why would it just knock over when I get in the house? You understand what I'm saying? I had the choice to sit there and have fear, but and not trust my Lord to protect me. But He's told me in my word, in the Word of God, that He will protect me. Jesus will protect me because I trust Him. He's my Lord. So I sat over there and I said, you know what? I'm not going to be scared. I'm not going to be scared of these demons that I just seen on TV what they about and what I was just on, on this paranormal activity where I just seen some supernatural stuff. I just seen these demons. How they, I just I didn't know they was like this. This dude, this psychic dude, he say, man, that's not no that's not no ghost. That's a demon. You understand? I don't, I mess with ghosts. I don't mess with demons. Demons is on something else. They're not from human. They're not a human spirit. They're actually from something else, but they're actually from Satan's kingdom. They're, uh, they're dark angels, evil. And that's what I'm saying. They're there. And so Jesus is the one who's going to save us from them. Like he continues to save us. That's our faith. That's our shield. Put that boy, put it up 
against these evil people. Put that shield of faith up against these evil people because you have to. You have to do this. All right? This is the, some of the most important stuff y'all ever going to hear, man. I'm serious because you don't, you can't, if you don't have these things, you have no defense is what I've seen in this paranormal activity, this movie. You have no, you have no, no defense. You have none. If you don't have Jesus Christ, that's what they did not have was Jesus Christ as the Lord. They, I didn't see that. I didn't see them, you know, and then she was holding the cross with the cross in her hand. You know what I'm saying? Like that one time, like out of there, still out of that possessed state. And she was holding a cross in her hand, had it so tight that it's blood coming out of her hand, in her left hand. And, uh, you know, I'm just wondering, you know, this, the, the cross, the, the Jesus is the enemy of, of these demons, the one that was possessing this young lady um, that was terrorizing her, torturing her, and, and her boyfriend. He was jealous of her boyfriend, that her boyfriend that came in and got with, got with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, he felt like it was, she was solely... His possession, this demon, this evil spirit, felt this woman was her was hit from eight from the age of eight to this time was was uh was her um, was her possession. You know, was his was his possession, and uh, that's why he he wanted to kill this dude. That's why I was telling my homeboy he gonna kill this dude because this dude keep on he don't want to just let her go. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just and there's nothing they can do. They keep calling on psychics. They keep calling on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, trying to read books and this and that. You got to read the Bible. You got to read, you know what I'm saying? This, these, Jesus is the one. He came. He proved that he had power over the, over the demons and things. But when he, in the gospel of Jesus Christ, when he healed little boys and little girls of demon possession, you know what I'm saying? They had taken over these little boys and girls and these grown men and women. He, they had, these demons had taken them over. And Jesus tell them, get out. You know, he tell him in Jesus' name. So if I'm telling you, Jesus has that power. I want y'all want y'all to be saved, unbelievers. I want y'all to be saved. I don't care. I don't care what you do. I'm not expecting you to have a lifestyle of of of, of, of righteousness at this time. I'm just telling you, the first step is to get with Jesus. That's the first step. And uh, the whole armor. Let's continue with the whole armor. Oh man, this is so important. It's ridiculous. Uh, in every battle. You will need faith as your shield to stop the fiery arrows aimed at you by Satan. Put on salvation as your helmet. So salvation that you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that he died for your sins, he rose up on the third day, and that he's, going, he's the right hand of the Father, and his throne going to come on his throne, on the clouds, to come get all his saints, all those who trusted in him, dead and alive. First the dead saints. Then uh, they believed in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Then those who are still remaining on the earth. And uh, then the seven-year seven -year tribulation will start with this Antichrist. Uh, he will take over his reign and uh, when the church is gone. And uh, this is what's going on. Look, y'all, y'all got to please, please listen to me. Please, I'm begging y'all. I'm begging y'all because this is so important. I don't want to see what I've seen today. I've seen two people that could have been saved by Jesus Christ dead. You know what I'm saying? Dead because a demon has so much control over their life because they didn't have Jesus. They had the void in their spirit, in their soul. They had the void inside of them where the Holy Spirit should be. They didn't have it. And so they didn't have the protection that they needed in order to get away from this evil spirit or, or overcome this evil spirit or for the or evil spirit to leave. It never left because nothing ever changed. Jesus never came. And, and, and they never found him. They never accepted him. And so they were able to be to be victim of this demon. He just was able to use them at, at will, at will. Made them do whatever they want, whatever he wanted them to do. At, gave them, terrorized them every night, and then killed them both. See what I'm saying? This is who you're dealing with. So anybody who made deals with the devil, this is what his henchmen do. What you think he does? What you think Satan does to people when he finished with them? He has no more use for them. He destroys them. He kills them. This is not a game, y'all. This is this is real life. This is not. This is no game. Holy Spirit, speak through me to your people, Lord. My God. Put on salvation as your helmet, and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the the Word of God. So you have to have a weapon out here, and your weapon is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Well, I'm telling y'all, you gotta have the Word of God. That's your weapon. That's your weapon, you know. It ain't even though that that you always on the uh, 
defensive, you know, trying to maneuver. 